For Dragons TV, I'm Chris Markowitz, and I'm joined today by Zach Spiker, head coach of Drexel Men's Basketball. Coach, thanks for being with us today. I'm happy to be here. Coach, in conference play this year, you guys got off to a hot start, a lot different than in past years. What's been the difference for you guys this season? Well, I, I think it's a credit to our players, and I don't think we've done anything uh, too dramatic schematically from one year to the other, um, especially on the offensive end. But I do think um, our focus and intention to detail on the defensive end um, by our players has been has been much better. Uh, I think we've added some length and, and guys that are really focused on the defensive end and getting stops. And you know we need that from all our guys. And when our leaders are doing that, our other guys fall in line. And after seven games, I think we were number one in, in defensive field goal efficiency. Uh, that's gone down a little bit lately, uh, but still in the top third, top half of the league. And that's where you need to be if you want to be serious and talking about a championship. You got to be in that upper tier. Um, defensively to, to, to give yourself an opportunity. And you mentioned the focus on stops. Coming off a tough loss against Delaware, what's the focus for this week You know, to get back on track, sitting at 5-5 five and five, midway through conference play? Right in the teeth of things, though, still have some games in front of you. You can you know, move up in the standings. What's the focus going into this week? You're going to have games where, the, where you don't shoot well. That's when you, the defense has to carry you. We've had other nights where it has carried us, and we've shot okay and still won. We didn't shoot well, and we didn't defend well enough. Uh, to, to keep the score close enough uh, over the course of the game. So uh, as we get back into this week and kind of recalibrate and refocus, um, it's going to be about our defense. And uh, we play some teams that have some really, really talented individual players that are capable of going off um, for big, big numbers. And uh, if you allow them to get going early and give them confidence, um, they're capable of doing that. So uh, every game is just as important as any other game. Uh, like you said, uh, five and five, and uh, when you start out five and two, it's not where you imagine to be, but that's where we are, and uh, we've got to respond with with a couple good days of practice, and then ready to compete on Thursday night in, in a home game against James Madison. Uh, they've got a number of guys that can score in the perimeter, a number of guys that can create and get their own shot, and they've got uh, a dominant player down low on the inside that um, takes every bit of our attention in there. So. Um, They've got guys that can score in every different way, and we've really got to make that a focus to defend and rebound and limit them to one shot. Both these games, JMU and Towson, this week it's at home, and at the DAC this year, you guys 9-2 and two on your home court. What has been the advantage of the home court this year for you guys playing so well here in front of the home fans? The, the rep of being at home and, and the comforts of, of a routine, um, but I also think when we're here in the DAC, um, the DAC can get loud, uh, I think we've got great support uh, from our student body, the DAC pack, uh, the pep, pep band, dance team, cheer team. Um, it's an environment where um, this gets loud in a hurry and uh, hopefully it creates energy for our guys and takes energy away from the visiting team and uh, you just want to kind of do everything you can to create the opportunity for the momentum to hit and when it goes you, you ride it and uh, a lot of that is consistent habits. Uh, on the defensive end and limiting their success and going. But uh, certainly uh, we'll take as many home games as we can get and I think everyone would echo that sentiment across the country. And uh, I'm excited about what these final, final home stretch can be uh, of the schedule for us. That's all the questions I have. Coach, thanks for the time. No problem. Glad we can do this and look forward to doing it again soon, okay?